I don't want to hear the booze for Lindor anymore. I'm sick of it. I know he's getting paid a lot of money. The guy's got 52 RBIs. You know, he had a big hit yesterday, and then we know we'll talk about in a minute what happened with Seth Lugo and the issues that he's been having. But he keeps driving and runs. He's, his defense, I mean, Friday he made some stellar plays. Stellar plays all weekend. He's a leader. Like we always talk about, he's always clapping. He's on the top step. He's been great on and off the field, and I think people need to appreciate what Lindor brings. Forget the damn money. We got the richest owner on the mother effing planet right now. He wipes his ass with million dollar bills. Literally. He is Charmin on crack, Steve Cohen. He is a rich, rich man. Sorry, there's children here. <laughs> That's why I was a semi clean version. But he wipes his booty with million dollar bills. Much better. And when you have 14 billion, 340 million is nothing. And I think he's been tremendous for this team, like you said. You needed a superstar. The Mets yeah. needed a superstar. They needed someone to go along with the homegrown talent that they had, where they had Dominic Smith as he was coming up and he was doing well. He was one of the names. Pete Alonso took his job. Pete Alonso was the next guy that you figured to carry the torch. Michael Conforto was supposed to be the guy who's in a Met uniform until, you know, he didn't want to be anymore. Right now he's still a free agent and Pete Alonso is probably that next guy that would take over the mantle as a captain. But Lindor is here guaranteed for the next 10 years. So it probably will be Lindor that gets to see on his jersey, who, because of what he brings to the table, he's that super bona fide superstar who has done it. He's been on all star teams, he's been to the playoffs. That's what you want is a guy who's been there, done that. And I love the fact that not only did he go through that slump, I hated that it was a season long slump, but he went through that slump. And there's never going to be a time this year that's ever going to be tougher than what he went through last year. Although he did pick it up late in the season, you know, the big game against the Yankees, the three, three home. Day. Game, yeah. uh, what, what was the call by the ESPN broadcaster? La Santa Maria! Santa Maria.